All right, it is Friday. I've had a great day so far. It's about 12 o'clock noon. Just finished up with all my pools for the day. Ran to the PetSmart and got some dog food for the boys. Now I'm headed to the gym. Gonna meet Ashton there in just a few minutes once she gets done with a job interview that she's doing right now. Fingers crossed she'll land this job. She's been working at a bar downtown and it's a nightmare and doesn't pay very well either. So hopefully we can land this and then we'll be sitting real pretty financially and we'll have similar schedules. Things will just be far more aligned if we can make this happen. Anyways, headed to the gym. I'm gonna knock out probably at least an hour on the treadmill since I'll have a little extra time while I'm waiting on her to get there. And then we're gonna knock out our typical Monday, Friday strength training regiment. Squats, deadlifts, planks, lunges, leg raises, push-ups, and seated calf raises. It's gonna be a good one. Still dealing with some knee tension, so I'm going to keep it extremely light or no weight on all the squats and everything again. Just really trying to make sure I'm being smart there. I probably need to get some knee wraps or whatever you call those, a brace for my knee for doing squats and stuff, but I'm trying to save money right now. So holding off on that. I don't really know how expensive those are. They really may not be that expensive, but anyways, gonna knock out that lift. Hopefully the sauna is fixed today and I can get a good sauna session in. I was pretty bummed yesterday that it was shut down for repair. Hopefully that means they were just cleaning it and it'll be nice and clean and ready to go today. But if not, it's all right. We're gonna make it work. I could always drive to another location if I'm really that concerned about getting in the sauna, which I'm probably not that concerned. But alas, it's been a great day so far. It's gonna continue to be a great day. Ready to get this work in. Let's fucking go. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. I'll check in with you in a bit. newest disciplines in life is taking care of my truck. I'm blessed to have a pretty nice vehicle. It's paid off and I've always had my dad around to take care of the engine and everything, all the mechanicals. My dad owns a service shop in Memphis so he's always taking care of it for me. But one thing I've never taken care of was the cleanliness and everything of the car. And so that's my newest discipline in life. I kind of slacked off for a minute. I was doing really good for a while when we first got here and I kind of slacked off for a minute, but I'm back on it now. Gotten it washed twice this week. I pay $15 a month for unlimited washes. So there's really no no excuse to not do it and it's only less than 10 minutes from the house and it's on my way home from the gym more or less so zero excuses to not do it, it takes me 
10 minutes maybe to wash it and then get out and towel dry it. They provide towels and my car just looks so much better. And I feel better driving it, knowing that it's clean and I don't look like a scrub. I highly recommend it. Take care of your shit. Anyways, that's my rant. I'm headed home from the gym. Had a great workout. Started it off with seven miles on the treadmill at an 8.30 pace. So one hour on the treadmill, zone one, super chill. I think my average heart rate was 124, something like that. I'll throw the stats on the screen. Ashton ended up not having time to meet me at the gym today, so I worked out solo. I got some footage, but not as much as usual. So I apologize for that, but it is what it is. Got what I could. Still got the workout in. Did the usual squats, lunges, deadlifts, planks, push-ups, leg raises. I did one set of leg raises and then swapped out the rest for flutter kicks. I've been doing those some and I feel like I get a better workout out of those. So I might end up switching that to those. Although I do like the leg raises if I do them on the decline bench and do them at a uh, little bit of a, an incline because it targets it a lot more and works me a lot better. But Ian Fonz posted his ab workout yesterday and or two days ago, I don't know, recently. And he said that he does flutter kicks. And I feel like flutter kicks are better for runners anyways because you get a little bit of hip flexor strengthening in there. So might just switch it up. And I might just switch it up each time I do them too. Keep you on your toes that way. But capped everything off with 21 minutes in the sauna, 195 degrees and a cold shower. Now I'm feeling like a new man, driving a new truck because I just got her cleaned. And I'm headed home to my boys, see how crazy they'll be when I get home. And uh, just the usual grind the rest of the day. Gonna work on the video. I'm ready for a recovery smoothie. I am hungry today. I've just had my normal nutrition so far. Two bagel, 83 grams of peanut butter, 40, no, 81 grams of peanut butter, 43 grams of just fruit spread today. I've had two packs of Element. I've had three Celsius and a coffee and a scoop of AG1. All the usuals. I'm feeling good. Like I said, I'm hungry. My stomach's been growling and I'm ready to chill. Great fucking day. Yogi, do you like peanut butter? things up here for the night. Had a nice little rice and tofu bowl for dinner. Putting the final touches on the video. Of course, I'm going to make myself a nice little dessert smoothie here in just a couple minutes and just relax with my boys. It's about 8.30, so I'm going to try and call it a night here in just a little while. Get to bed, get some good rest, get ready to rock some weekend miles. I'm sure Yogi and I will be up early at it in the morning. I don't know if I'm gonna try and hit the trails or if I'm just gonna hit the canal. 
I'll probably do a little bit of research on that here in just a few minutes. But that's it for today. Our battery's about to die, so I gotta make this short and sweet. Hope you guys had a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.